Fernie, British Columbia, a quaint little mountain town boasting many old buildings and more than a few haunted stories. Lindsay Valance has been tasked with documenting some of the city's eerie past. I always thought, well, Fernie's not very supernatural, you know? I mean, there's not that much going on, really. But the more Valance asked around, the more the stories began to surface, many of which revolved around this building. The Royal Hotel is considered to be one of the most haunted hotels in the downtown area. It's about 110 years old. Like most of the hotels in Fernie, it's had a real a colorful history. It's said to have had a number of resident ghosts over the years, most notably a young girl who liked to play games with kitchen staff in the hotel's restaurant. It was around 2009, I was working at the Thai restaurant and we just experienced weird stuff. When he would walk past a sink, uh, the tap would turn on. And when he was weighing stuff out on the scales, um, it would be like someone was touching the scale, like, like messing with him. But the stories weren't just limited to the kitchen. My head chef, he was telling me that when he used to work in the basement here in his office, uh, at night after he'd lock the doors, he would hear um, footsteps and a little girl laughing. <laughs> there was actually a woman who came home one night. She was walking up the stairs and there were these two children just sitting there whispering to each other in old, old fashioned clothes, she said. She just thought, oh, that's strange. Why are there children here? There's no children allowed in the hotel. And they're here at 2 o'clock in the morning. So she walked up the stairs, walked around the two children, told them to go to bed, kids, and then walked up the rest of the stairs. And when she woke up the next morning, she talked to some other people who also lived in the hotel. And they said, oh, yeah, those, those are the kids that they sit on the stairs. And they seem to be having a conversation about something. Just a short drive from the Royal Hotel is the suburb of Ridgemont, an area Kate Noakes and her family have called home for more than 20 years. The subdivision was built near an old cemetery, which included several unmarked graves. In the first weeks, the children had experiences with what they described as ghosts. Uh, my son had a sleepover one night and there was kind of a funny experience there. My daughter had a an experience where she saw a man walking through the kitchen and going out the back door. I thought that perhaps since the house had been empty for several months before we moved in, that perhaps a couple of young fellas had taken to squatting here. One thing that stands in my mind is my son saying, oh no, mommy, they were wearing olden days clothes. One night after her kids were gone to bed, Noakes would have her own supernatural experience. Middle of the night, went, peeked in on the children. When I came out from uh, the bedrooms, I stopped stock still because there were two men walking through my kitchen. The two fellows that I saw were both dressed in olden days clothes. I didn't cry out, I was startled, but somehow I didn't feel frightened and they didn't notice me at all. It was as though I did not exist for them. They simply calmly walked, turned, went down the hallway to the back door. I walked to that hallway and looked down that hallway and there was nobody there. Was it power of suggestion from the stories the children told? Was it some kind of psychological subtext that caused me to have this visual hallucination? One thing is certain, Stories like these can't help but pique your curiosity whether you consider yourself a believer or not. I definitely think there's something to it. It's not scary, not in the way that people would make you believe. It's, it's, just, it's just a feeling and a, a spirit to the building. Before I was definitely a skeptic, but the things that I've heard from other people have made me a little bit less certain. Other people, they sort of have one of two reactions. One is skepticism and mocking. Or the other reaction is they tell you their own ghost story. And now I just say, really, that's amazing. <laughs> and I don't know what else to say because I can't say, well, that never happens. <laughs>